Uh, firstly, I'd like to say thank you for inviting me to this conference today and allowing me to express the views of those who have a diagnosis of dementia and for whose lives you are all working so very hard to improve. At the centre of the word dementia are the letters M-E. A while back, campaigners who were living well with dementia started wearing T-shirts with the slogan Don't forget the M-E in dementia. On, on as they believed that services around dementia were being developed around them but with no consultation with them to establish what was being set up and how it would benefit those people with a diagnosis. The theories being put forward by the learned professionals were good but the true experts in the dementia condition were those who were actually living with and experiencing the condition. It was almost as if the professionals believed that by involving those diagnosed it would change the word dementia to demons here. Would it really be possible to work with and consult with those diagnosed without it causing more problems than solutions? Well the answer is a definite and unequivocal yes. Quite soon after my diagnosis I became involved in the forget-me-nots in Kent which led me on to becoming a dementia service user envoy. The forget-me-nots are a group of 20 or so people who all have a diagnosis of dementia. We meet monthly for two and a half hours at a community centre near Canterbury. It's also attended by two psychologists, one of which is Reinhardt, and supported by the University of Kent psychology students. The meetings are a mix of formal and informal time with an agenda circulated before the meeting for members to consider, prepare for and contribute towards. Over the past three years, the forget-me-nots have been involved in numerous activities, including presenting at conferences, speaking at regional doctors' meetings, being part of selection panels for new staff to posts in healthcare professions relating to dementia care in the NHS, and consultation on literature produced for professionals, carers and those with a d dementia diagnosis. We have consulted on the development of fully user-centred care plans. We have also carried out a series of talks to GP receptionists on how they can assist in making a visit to the GP more accessible and less stressful, covering such things as the booking system and the environment, we consulted on the format and the, working, and the wording of the document that I talked about this morning and even cons have consulted on the revisions of the Mental Capacity Act with the House of Lords. Some of our members have written in national magazines and have featured in programmes on the radio and television. They have written and published a book, Welcome to Our World, about their lives before and after the diagnosis, which is sold around the world. They have done audio reports for a website, Dementia Diaries, around the subject of living with dementia and the challenges encountered on a day-to-day -day basis out and about in society when dealing with banks, shops, utility companies and government departments concerning disability benefits. These are regularly featured on the internet. We have members on local and national committees to do with dementia and members working as part of the accreditation teams at MSNAP that visit memory services across the country. Along with 49 other similar groups, we are working with the organisation DEEP to challenge stigma around dementia, to work to improve the involvement of people with dementia in decision making domestically, locally, nationally and internationally. People with dementia do have a voice then and can make valuable contributions in and around the development of services and understanding around the subject of dementia. Everybody present in this room today is an expert in their field and the wealth of knowledge is staggering. However, it should be borne in mind that the person who is actually living with the dementia is an expert by experience. People with young onset dementia may have had to give up working 
but don't kick them into the long grass. They can assist you experts in your chosen fields. People with young onset dementia expected to be able to carry on working for many years and will willingly be involved in the development of better services and the onward research in around dementia. Use us. We're there, ready and waiting. You only have to ask. I ask you to remember that dementia comes in cans. Working together, we all certainly can in the future. Thank you. Thank you.